Ah, jeez, you know, you found that sometimes your bunker shots can look just like that. Well, this is a case for quite a few of the members here at Canary Golf Club. They finally get in the bunkers and the fear of death starts running through their head thinking, how do we get out? They're either thinning it over the back of the green, thinning it into the face, you name it. They've got it and it doesn't need to be that difficult. In this week's training, we're gonna show you how to overcome all this stuff so you can get that ball popping up out of the bunker and onto the green nice and easily. We're gonna cover how do you play wet sand, the horrible hard stuff. You know, maybe you've got sand in your bunkers or no sand in your bunkers. How do you play those horrible hard pan lies? And obviously, how do you play the soft sand? But more importantly, we're also gonna go into the basic technique and I'm gonna show you one drill, one exercise that will kind of mean that you don't have to remember a lot of stuff so you can actually repeat this on a regular basis. Before we do though, before we get into this week's video, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos from me, please consider subscribing. If you press that little bell button next to the subscribe button, you can receive videos just like this one every week. So I can come and help you improve your game. So what do we do with bunkers? So let me just quickly rate this area here, which I've destroyed. Bunkers. Well, let's start by showing you what a bunker shot really looks like. Let's set a couple of shots here. This is a, a vicious downhill shot to the flag. Very difficult to get it close. But that's a very typical style bunker shot. Pops it up in the air, rolls out downhill to the flag. It's very difficult to keep this close. But how do you go about playing that particular shot? Well, very simply, what we're gonna to need to do here is this. We need to understand that we need a certain type of connection with the sand. When we're coming through the bunker, what we need to do is we need to use the back part of the golf club, not the front part. Now, you may have heard this before, but the question is, how do you do all this stuff? So we want, in reality, this club gliding through the sand as much as we possibly can. We do not want the leading edge digging in. So what I mean by that is this. Too many golfers, when they're playing bunker shots, they're using the leading edge and they're digging into the sand like this. That's not gonna get the ball out of the bunker. What we need to do, if you look at the back of this golf club here, we need to use this bit. We need to use the whole bit. We wanna lay it completely flat on the ground when we're setting up like this. We wanna lay it completely flat on the ground. Then what we do is we get much, much lower. We lower the handle of the golf club. Why do we do all this stuff? Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a glide through the sand, right? We want this club gliding. We don't want it attacking through the sand. So we're gonna lower the handle. We're gonna flatten the, we're gonna add loads and loads of loft onto this. Now the ball position, when we do all this, is way forward in our stance here. So it's opposite our left heel. The handle of the golf club, as you can see here, is actually positioned where? Backwards, because that's the only way where we can actually get the loft on. If I start to move this handle, first of all, forwards, we start to deal off the club, we don't want that. The other thing is, watch this, if the handle's too high, I can't get the loft on either, and I can't get the back of this golf club on the sand, so we lower the handle. Now I can get in a position where I can glide through this sand, slide um, the club right underneath it. So let's have a look at this in action again. So we get ourselves set here. We're gonna lower the handle, get ourselves in position here, and then just simply slide the club through the shot and look at the elevation on that, okay? Much, much, much better. So, what drill could you do so you don't have to remember all this stuff? Well, I've got just a four iron here and I'm gonna play a bunk shot now with a four iron. Why the hell would I play a bunk shot with a four iron? Well, this is a great way for you to kind of, in a sense, get into a practice bunker and start to learn, or ultimately the only way you can play a, a bunker shot with a four iron is if we have a look at this here, if you look at the loft, and this is absolutely no loft 
on this four iron here. If I set up like this, the ball's going straight into the bank. So now what you need to do is this. Take a four iron, go to your practice bunker, and think like, let your body be a wonderful problem solver. It's got to work out, how are you going to add loft to this four iron? Well, watch this. Let's just do this. Well, there's loft. Well, look what's happened to the shaft now. If I if you start here and I add loft, what have I done? I've lent the shaft backwards. That's the first thing. Can I have the shaft like this? Hmm, not really, because there's still loads of loft on there. So I have to lower that shaft. So I've lowered the shaft here, and now I've got the shaft almost laying flat open. Well, if you do this now, look what you're going to have to do with your posture. You're going to have to lower yourself into the sand so that we can get into this position here. All right, that's the next thing. Now, when people do this for the first time and they add loft on, look at that. The heel of the golf club now is lined up to the ball. It's never going to work. So look at this. We've got to move the face this way. Now, straight away, your, bob your body's problem solving here. It's trying to get low. It's trying to square that face. So it's trying to lay it flat. Look at that. And that becomes the perfect setup almost for bunkers here. It's an exaggerated form, obviously. But what it will do is it will teach you what you need to do. Things to look out for. When people do this, they do lower themselves down into the sand, but they often sit back and they start to waft at it. That's not what we're after. When you're sitting down, make sure you're still in the shot. You're not sat back here as you lower yourself, you're still in the shot. So let's have a look at this in action here. <laughs> it's going to be interesting on a, on a downhill lie, but let's have a look. So I'm going to slide this for Ryan underneath that ball. That's not bad. That's not bad. So it's an exaggerated version, but look what you, you can see, hopefully, exactly what I'm doing here to get myself in to that fantastic position, which you need for bunkers. So let's look at this again from this angle. So we got, there's my four iron. Look at this. I don't want to be in that position, do I? I've got no chance from there. So watch this. The ball's miles forward. I'm laying this club wide open. It's the only way. I'm laying it flat on the ground. I'm having to get lower to do it. Up here, there's no chance. to Look at the loft on the face still. I'm here. Now from there, look, I've got to lower the handle even more. Look how that I've, I've got to, what I've got to do here to get that face lying completely flat. Now from there, all I'm going to do now is slide this club onto the ball. But there's one thing we can do and help visualize this. I'm going to draw a box around this ball here okay and what we're going to do is is the box is about let's say a couple of inches either side it's uh, there's uh, the balls in the middle of a box it's two inches either side of the ball and what we're going to do as we're laying this down i want you to visualize taking that entire box out sliding it out what we're not doing is going chop and taking a big lunge out neither we're just taking the front part of the box out as we try to lift the ball up in the air none of those things we're laying this club completely flat and we're going to try and slide this club underneath the ball there with a four iron for now So let's have a look at it with the sand wedge now. So all we're doing, we're drawing a box round and now we've got the feels with a four iron. Remember those feels are designed to exaggerate the motion. You've got to get low. You've got to get the handle low to lay that loft open. Otherwise you've got none, right? So now you can transfer those feels now to the sand wedge. Lay it flat, get the ball forward in, in your stance here. And look at, you know, I've put a ball there, but you know what? To start with, you might just want to draw a box that's maybe um, six, uh, five inches wide and start to practice just gliding that sandwich and in a sense taking that box out and getting a sense of what that feels like initially before you introduce the golf ball then when you've done that a few times and you've got a sense of gliding then what you do just start hitting a few shots you know get onto the practice ground build some confidence up I'm getting low here I'm visualizing this club you know, coming it, uh, through here, exiting nice and shallow, nice and simple. And the ball just kind of just beautifully pops up and oh, almost into the hole. So I mentioned, what do you do when it's hard pan? And what's the difference? Soft lies, by the way, powdery lies, just simply do this. Get very, very low. Keep the as much balance as possible on. When it's compact like this, I'll stand on this for a second here. 
really, really, really hard surfaces. All you do is make a very, very slight alteration, but not much. It's very, very subtle. You just don't want the bouncer activating too much. If it's really hard, it could bounce off the surface, hit the leading edge. We don't really want that. So what we do instead is we make a subtle alteration. Don't change ball position or anything like that. Maybe position a bit more weight onto your lead foot and then same position, nice and low, but we're gonna have a little bit more intention now just to come, rather than imagine gliding this way, we're gonna glide slightly more down. So you'll hear a bit more of a thud. <laughs> we don't wanna do that though. Okay, there's me telling you what to do and I've kinda duffed it. <laughs> Let's leave that one in. Okay, so a bit more of a thud into the sand, but maybe not that much. Okay, back, there we go. <laughs> that almost goes in. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. You kind of grit more attack into the sand when it's a little bit firmer, but still get the same setup. So let's summarize, what have we done? Well, when you're setting up to bunkers, grab yourself that four iron, get it like this, get yourself set, and this ultimately, if you want to lay this flat open, you're going to have to do this. You're going to have to angle it backwards here. You're going to have to lower the shaft. You're going to have to lower your body. All the things that you ne are necessary with this. Let your body be an incredible problem solver. And when it solves the problem of this, it will provide the necessary feelings to hit this. And that is it. And then obviously make those slight changes with um with the hard pan lies by coming slightly down <laughs> maybe not too much, as much as i did there and it's as simple as that so balls nice and forward weights a bit favoring the left side we're going to lower ourselves into the sand here lower the handle get the loft facing and then glide that ball out of that bunker. I've got another couple of bunker videos that you might want to have a look at as well in this top right hand corner. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with somebody else who's struggling with bunker play. And of course, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, press that subscribe button and the bell. And I look forward to seeing you next week. But until next week, have a great golfing week.